In this video, we are going to discuss about high skew of an AND gate. So, this is a circuit diagram for the uh, an AND gate. Since it is high skew, you have to keep the value of uh, P mass as same, and for N mass, you have to divide it by 2. So, since uh, this value is 2, 2 for the unskewed uh, an AND gate, it should be 1, 1. Okay. So, since it is 1 1 uh, this is r by k and this is r by k so r by k r by k is uh, um, uh, 2 r by k and k value k is nothing but 1 here so it is nothing but 2 r since it is 2 r uh, current value is 0 0.5 i since uh, resistance value is twice uh, you have to divide the current by 2 okay so here the resistance the equivalent resistance is 2r divided by 2 that is 2r divided by k k value is 2 here so resistance value is r so since the resistance value is r current value is i okay so uh, g g is nothing but uh, you have to take the a value so 2 plus 1 is 3 3 divided by c in of the inverter is 3 okay um, into gamma so here gamma value represents the value of i i is 1 into i so uh, gamma value is 1 here so g is 1 here so similarly for gd is 3 divided by 3 dot uh, gamma gamma value is 0 0.5 so if i substitute i will get uh, 2 so g average is equal to gu plus gd divided by 2 so 1 plus 2 is 3 3 divided by 2 is 1.5 so in order to determine the parasitic delay of the upper capacitance, so this is 2, 2 plus 1. The, the number of transistors that is connected to the output, you have to calculate. 2, 2, 1. So that is 5. 5 divided by the, the, this denominator, 3. For, um, for PD, 5 divided by this denominator, 1.5. So average, you know, PO, PU plus PD divided by 2 is uh, 5 by 2. So similarly for uh, low skew, if I want to find the low skew value, um, um, you have to keep the N mass value same because it is uh, for inverter it is 1. Since I have connected the two transistor in uh, series, it should be 2. Okay. Uh, for P mass, it should be 2, 2. But uh, it is since it is a low skew, you have to divide it by 2. So this is 1, 1. Okay. So, this value is, um, there is no change, so it is i, okay. Since uh, this value I have divided by 2, the resistance I have divided by 2, uh, sorry, the, um, uh, <coughs> since I have divided it by 2, the current is, current value is 0 0.5, okay, 0 0.5 of i. And the resistance value get increased, it, it becomes 2 R because 2R divided by K plus uh, 2R divided by K, okay. So, 2R uh, by 1, so 2R divided by 1 is 2R, okay. So, here the gamma value is 0 0.5 for GU and uh, for GD, gamma value is 1, okay. So, how to find GU? GU is nothing but G is equal to A value, A value is 3, 1 plus 2 is 3, divided by C in of inverter is always 3 into uh, this gamma gamma is 0 0.5 okay so if i substitute you will get uh, 3 divided by 3 into 0 0.5 so 3 3 get cancelled out uh, 0 0.5 is nothing but uh, 1 by 2 so if it goes up it it will become 2 okay similarly for uh, gd gd is uh, nothing but uh, 3 3 is uh, again you take the a value it is 3 divided by uh, gamma into 3 so gamma value is nothing but 1 here so you substitute here 3 3 get cancelled out you will get 1 so what is g average g average is nothing but um, uh, gu plus gd divided by 2 so 2 plus 1 is 3 3 divided by 2 is 1.5 so if i want to find the parasitic delay of the upper uh, that is uh, for p mass for the rising time okay pu is equal to uh, the number of transistor that is connected to the output that is c out okay so how many transistor connected this a this b and this a okay so what is the, what are their values 1 1 2 1 plus 1 plus 2 that is 4 4 divided by this denominator this denominator value is 1.5 so this is 1.5 similarly for pd 
PD is nothing but a falling time. Okay, so PD is equal to 4 divided by how come? So this is also 4, right? C out is 4, 4 divided by this uh, denominator 1, 1 into 3. Okay, so 1 into 3 is 3. Okay, so in order to determine the P average, P average is equal to PU plus PD divided by 2. So that is nothing but uh, you will get uh, 4 by 1.5 plus uh, 4 divided by 3. So you will get um, uh, 12 divided by 6. Okay, 12 divided by 6. What is 12 divided by 6? 12 divided by 6 is 2. Okay, so you can see since it is a um, high skew uh, NAND gate since it is high skew NAND gate um, the GD value so the, the logic uh, logical effort of the um, uh, NMOS is greater than uh, PMOS okay so for low skew you can see the uh, logical effort of the uh, PMOS is greater than the NMOS okay so I hope uh, um, this is useful for you. Uh, next, uh, if you want, uh, you can calculate it for uh, NOR gate also, 2 input NOR gate. So, 2 input NOR gate, you have to connect it like this, right? So for the NOR gate, um, we know that um, for PMOS it is uh, 4, 4 because it is for inverter it is 2. So since it is connected in parallel, you have to write it as 4, 4 and uh, this is 1, 1. So you have to divide it by 2 for uh, high skew inverter. This is 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So this is I and this is 0 0.5. So here if you take the value of A that is 4.5 divided by 3 is a inverter value and the gamma value is nothing but 1 here I value for um, for the GD, GD is nothing but 4.5 divided by 3 uh, gamma value is um, 0 0.5 so if we solve I will get you will get 1.5 and 3 so G average is equal to addition of this 2 value divided by 2 that is nothing but 2.25. So in order to determine the parasitic delay, parasitic delay for the rise uh, that is for PMOS rising uh, values, um, the number of transistors connected to the output that is 4, 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 that is nothing but 5 divided by this denominator value is 3. So for PD that is nothing but 5 divided by this denominator value is 1.5. So if you solve you will get P is equal to 5 divided by 3 and PD is equal to 10 divided by 3 and average is uh, addition of this two value divided by two that is nothing but five by two so similarly for low skew value low skew means uh, um, uh, the n mass you have to keep the same value uh, for the nand gate nor gate right so, so it is it is one one for p mass it is uh, it is four th therefore you have to divide it by two okay so it is 2 2 since it is uh, divided by 2 uh, you have to write it as 0 0.5 i so this is i okay so what is g g is equal to a value a value is 3 2 plus 1 is 3 divided by 3 is your inverter c in of the inverter into gamma gamma is nothing but uh, 0 0.5 so if i substitute i will get uh, g is equal to 2 that is logical inverter is uh, 2 uh, for the p mass or for the rising edge rising uh, output current and gd is equal to 3 divided by um, gamma into 3 gamma value is 1 here so so if i substitute you will get 1 so therefore g average is equal to 2 plus 1 divided by 2 that is equal to 1.5 so now to get the pu value that is parasitic value number of transistor connected to the output is 2 plus 1 plus 4 1 is 4 4 divided by this denominator value 1.5 and PD is equal to 4 divided by this uh, denominator value that is 3. Now you substitute the P average value. P average value to is equal to PU plus PD divided by 2. So substitute this two values. On substituting this two value, we will get um, um, 12 divided by 3 by 2. That is uh, 12 divided by 6. 12 divided by 6 value is nothing but 2. 
so this problem uh, this is a very important problem uh, you can expect this question in your university examination thank you very much